What's up, everybody? It's Joe B here, Burning Spider Stoke coming. I don't know why I always slam down every single time. It's like a tradition. Anyways, Joe B here, Burning Spider Stoke Company, coming to you with your March 5th Morning Stoke Report. It's sunny out, as you can see, uh, but, well, you can kind of see the reflection of the light on my face. You can see that. Anyways, you can't see anything else. I can probably show you. See, it's all bright. Look at that. Look at that. Look how bright it is. Bright and sunny. Bright and sunny. However, it is going to be more warmer tomorrow at this time than it will be all day today. <sighs> so we're still under freezing today. So the sun's out. Now it's going to start heating things up. It's going to work its sun magic on the ground. Wow, like some radiation waves. Like <sighs> hitting the ground. And it'll warm up. So it'll be great. I'm pumped. I know. I, I've been thinking all weekend long or week long. Oh, man. All right. So I killed my push setup. What am I going to skate? So here's what's going on. Today is first Friday. Hmm? So it's going to be a little bit chilly out. So I don't know if anyone wants to get together to go skate after I get off at 9. Um, that that I would definitely want to bundle up because it's going to be so bloody cold. Uh then, uh, tomorrow morning, I'm thinking I'm gonna kick things off with Penn Valley Little Skate sh sesh Session. I'm stoked for that. Um, as long as, and I think, you know, the past few weekend, past few days, it's been really, really dry in the mornings. So that means the humidity is low enough that the temperature, the, the concrete isn't sucking the moisture out of the air. So, I'm gonna give Penn Valley a shot tomorrow morning. Um, and I know there's gonna be some people skating all over the place. Um, uh, there's talks of Kessler session on Saturday. I think the ladies have got a session together. Um, all sorts of good skating going on. And then Sunday, I'm going to figure out what everyone wants to meet at Kessler. And then I'm going to leave from here an hour or two early and just kind of go explore around kind of from here to Kessler and go on a little push. Me and Calypso, my, uh, loaded cantilated board, are going to go for a little cruise. I think we're going to Stick with the setup I've got on there, which is going to be Cal 2, uh, 44 cows, and uh, some mustache rides. So it'll be fun. We'll see how it works for a little urban push setup. Pretty stoked. See if we can get a couple 10 or so miles in. Uh, man, I got a lot of good stuff coming on. And going on, I can't talk. I'm still working on coffee number one. What else is there? What, what, what do you guys got going on, huh? What do you guys want to talk about? Because I think I'm running out of subject stuff except the weather. And I feel like I suck as a weather dude. How do weather guys deal with that, right? Like, wake it up and be like, don't worry, guys. Of course, weather don't, guys don't give a care Like if, if you're going to be able to skateboard it or not, right? They're like, dude, uh, it's going to be rainy out. <laughs> Whereas I'm like, oh, man, it's going to be rainy out. We can't skate. So I'm more like an empathetic Stokes person, Stoke weather person, all right? But, you know, there's more to it than that, and I think we're going to start digging into some of that stuff. Uh, maybe some skate setups, maybe do some interviews. Who knows? The sky's the limit. More to come. We're going to develop this thing up. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and if you're bored or want to stop by and get your board set up for the next week-long segment, of awesome, awesome weather, stop at the shop, slap hands, and, uh, you know, we'll get you guys set up, or at least get you pumped up, watch some skate videos on the old video channel thingy, something like that, hope you guys have a great day, I know I'm going to, and, uh, yeah, stay stoked, later dudes.